kingdom of God. Let's take a look at that. I'll be using my notes this time, if that's okay. Matthew 6 says, Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where your heart will be also. And another chapter in the book, it says, Store up treasures in heaven. What can we store up in heaven? What are being stored up in heaven? Let's think about it. I got a few of them. The Lord Yeshua Jesus is interceding for me and you in heaven right now. And my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. He's recording all these things that are going on in heaven. I mean, going on on earth. He's recording them in heaven. But the special book is the Lamb's Book of Life. So that's my treasure in heaven. Um, the throne room of God is there. We've had the imitations on earth in the temple in Jerusalem, which is wonderful. But the original one, my treasure is to worship him in his holy temple one day. And the covenant, the new covenant will be established then. We'll have all these things in place. But right now they're holding steady in heaven for the time. The time's come. The Lord's appointed times. Moedim's very certain they'll be here. He's had many in the past and they've all come to happen. But what do you think is in heaven? What's stored up for you? Hmm. I wonder. We often think of people. People being stored up in heaven. But if they died after Jesus resurrected them at his cross, at his, his crucifixion. When he came out of the grave, others came out of the grave. Matthew 27 tells us that. So the Old Testament saints came out at that time and gone to glory. They're there, but no one else has gone since then. It's time for us to leave again, maybe. <laughs> Another group ready to go. So it's not our loved ones that we've known in our lifetime. They're in paradise. I know. Different idea. The New Jerusalem's there. It's coming to earth one day. But right now, it's in heaven. It's stored in heaven for the time to come. The uh, banqueting table of the Lord, the wedding festival, is going to be there. So is it all prepared yet? Is the table set? Is it time for us to go to the wedding party? Will you have a place at that table? There's only one way. There's only one way. Believing in God and believing in Yeshua Jesus as God. That's the entrance. That's the way you enter in. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me except through, no one comes to God except through me. Is he your love? Have you given your life to him? You know, they used to put placemats, place ta tags on the table and your names would be written and you would go around and you'd find your place at the table by where your name is. I, I think I have a place at the table, a place card. Look around. Is your name at one of these places? I'd like it to be. I'd like you to be there. Treasure, storing up treasures in heaven, eternity even, the kingdom of God waiting to come to earth. What else? I wish you were here to help me. Think some more. In the Lord's Prayer, it says we are to pray, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth. As it's already being done in heaven. God's will isn't being done on earth, but God's will is being done in heaven. And one day it will be here. One day that kingdom will come here. What is that kingdom? It's with Jesus as ruling king. Jesus as a great high priest in the temple on earth. Jesus 
as the great prophet who's going to teach us more things that are coming. He's going to prophesy to us and teach us more. Not all get to come. I did the sheep and the goats one. Are you sheep or you are a goat? If you're a goat, you surely do want to be a sheep. Come on into the fold. I'm not him, but he would welcome you and I would welcome you. Come into the fold. Be a part of the, the great uh, conglomeration of people who belong to the shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. He is my shepherd. Make him yours today. So this kingdom, it's very interesting. Um, the Jews say the Shema, which, which is from De Deuteronomy 26. And it's, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. And it goes on. And then that last part of it was added to that. And it says, Blessed is the name of your glorious kingdom. What would that name of God's kingdom be? <laughs> but blessed is that name of that kingdom. Kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. Is there another name? I don't know. It's amazing. Uh, Jews and Gentile believers, but the Jewish faith also is looking for a messianic uh, uh, appearance of, a, of uh, an age to come, a length of time. Uh, the scriptures talk about a length of time coming. It's called the kingdom of God. It's a thousand years of semi, pretty much, peace on earth. The living Jews are going to enter it. And the Jewish believers that are with us, Gentile believers, we're all coming back to uh, rule and reign with Messiah, judge angels even, uh, take up our place in the kingdom, which is here on earth. No, it's not. It's in heaven now, but it's coming to earth. Thy kingdom come. I know, it's funny. And you know, there's 39 parables in the Bible, and every one of them is talking about this kingdom. They're not that hard to figure out once you realize that. I used to have a hard time with the parables. It's all about what it's like to be in the kingdom. And there is one that says, a farmer went out and he found a pearl at a great price. And he sold everything he had to gain that pearl. What was that pearl? What is he, what is he selling everything to get? What is he giving away everything to get? The kingdom of God. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Give him all for the love of the Lord. Removing yourself from the things that are of Satan's kingdom. It doesn't look like Satan's kingdom, maybe. But that's what's ruling and reigning today. God's kingdom, soon to come. Okay. Um, where is the kingdom to be? What is the kingdom to be on earth? If it's descending, the, the city, Jerusalem, is des will descend at the end of that time, end of this kingdom. But for that whole time, it's going to be in heaven. So what's going to be happening here? Life is going to change. Almost to perfection, but not quite. There'll be living humans of the, of the Jewish uh, nation who will be living, coming to faith, dying, finding of the Lord, not finding the Lord. All that's going to be going on. We that are back from heaven have a glorified body. And we'll be his worker bees. We'll be doing for him what he wants us to do. And we'll be so thrilled to take part in that kingdom with him. Have you ever wondered what your gifts were and what you can give to the Lord? And uh, we fuss about that on our heads, those of us who want to serve him. That'll be your finest hour. He's praying, preparing you now for the things to come. He's praying you now to aid him in his kingdom. Think about that. Beyond this life that we know. Wow. That he honors us in that way. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. It'll be
be a true government with one leader. No Senate, House of Representatives, all of that. No governors. He will rule. And he says in Isaiah, rule with a rod of iron. In other words, what he says goes. And it's what is best for us. What is best for us? He knows. We don't sometimes. We don't sometimes. But in the meantime, if we go on, and the next group to go is uh, the, the church, the bride is going to be taken up to heaven, and other groups will follow. And we might be there for a while before his kingdom comes. We don't know. We have much going on after our death. Or even if we haven't died, it says in Thessalonians, uh, those that are dead go before, and we who are alive follow and go along with him. That's the bride. And we will be there for a time. But that's not forever. Because thy kingdom come, and his will will be done on earth. It's already being done in heaven. I pray that you'll be a citizen of the kingdom. Look into it. It's worth it. It's worth it to know him. He loves you so. Bye for now.